Hi everyone, I am back with a tutorial on Lightroom editing and I just wrapped up another tutorial um, with this same image using a particular preset and so I'm going to do the same thing but with a different preset and also explain a little bit about how I shot this image. So if you watched the other tutorial using Noble preset, then you can skip ahead a little bit. I'm just going to talk about how I shot this image um, and then get into editing with one of my Mastin Labs presets. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about how I shot this image. Um, this image was taken at around 10 in the morning. So it was very bright. It was on a beach, not a lot of shade. So I positioned her with her back to the sun, well, not directly behind the sun or in front of the sun, but uh, it was the sun was about over here, pretty high overhead. Um, and I was shooting in manual mode with spot metering. And the reason I use spot metering is because I meter for the shadows, especially when I'm shooting portraits. And it just helps read uh, the skin tone a little better when you're using spot metering because you can actually pick where you want your camera to meter off of. So if you're unsure about what I'm talking about, I would take a deeper dive into metering modes on your camera. Uh, there's a lot of other tutorials out there in the universe on metering modes, but that's generally how I shoot is in manual mode with spot metering. And the image was taken uh, with ISO 160, uh, with my 85 prime at 3.2 and since it was so bright out and I had a wide aperture that took me to one two thousandths of a second and for those of you who follow me or know my work I am a very light and bright um, photographer when it comes to my style and so this image is already pretty light pretty bright um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it even brighter and give it that nice pop that you see in a lot of my images in the last um, tutorial, I used Noble Presets, which um, is a film emulating preset, and it helps your images get that film-like look, which I've always been sort of drawn to. And this time around, I'm going to be using Mastin Labs, which is also a film emulating um, preset. And I think what I'm going to do, um, so I've got all these different um, Mastin presets, so. I'm going to go ahead and add, actually edit with the Kodak Everyday Original. And this, this pack I find is a little bit difficult to use um, with just a one-click application, but I do love the pop it can give to images. So when you're using Mastin Labs, what I would recommend doing, or if you're considering purchasing Mastin Labs, is they do have a Facebook page, a community page where you can join and you can ask users to test out presets on your images. So users that have already purchased the presets will help you um, see what your images could look like with, uh, with those presets applied. So you can sort of test the waters a little bit. Um, but again, these presets generally are not a one-click solution and they do have a lot of information and resources on how to shoot with. Um, with the presets. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here I'm going to use the gold preset, I think. Um, it's got Ekar, Ekar, Ektar, Gold, and Tri-X. And Tri-X is actually really pretty too, but we're going to go ahead and edit with gold here. And you can see, um, come on. you can see how it changes the image already, um, but there is sort of these like strange colorations that you can see with that. So again, it's not a one-click solution, um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is start with my white balance and I'm going to go ahead and warm it up here. And so you can start to see that color is, um, is starting to get a little bit more balanced. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the exposure. And even more of that is getting sort of that softer tone. So we started off with some weird coloring in her skin. Now we're back to sort of a better even, um, even color uh, in her skin. And I think I'm going to zoom in here, check out how her skin is looking. Sometimes I like to do a before and after. 
And one thing I'm seeing is we're losing a little bit of color in her lips. Um, the preset sort of desaturated that. So there's a few things that you can try. And again, this is like a like a work in progress, right? So you can try different things. One thing I may try and do is increase the magenta here. And you can see that does bring a little bit more pink back into her lips, but you don't want to add too much to the overall image because then you're going to mess with your white balance too much. So the other option is to go down to your HSL sliders and your colors. And one thing I like to do is mess with the luminance and saturation when it looks like we've lost color here. So I'm going to click this little thing, which is great. So you grab that guy and you basically pick a point on the image where you think the color is missing. So I'm going to click here and as I'm clicking, I'm going to click and drag up because you see the little the little button has like an up arrow and a down arrow. So if I click and hold up, it's going to say increase the saturation from there. So there we go. So if you watch, I'm going to undo that. If you watch my sliders down here, you'll see that it's picking up the color. And from those colors, it's increasing those values. So that's looking pretty good right there. So the next thing we want to do, though, is make sure that didn't screw up a lot of the rest of the image and I and I actually really like how that um, turned out so um, that's looking really nice but the other thing I'm seeing that's kind of right here there's like a a line almost and so you know she does have a natural line here with the coloring of her skin but let's see if we can work on that a little bit and one thing I might try first is again grabbing the saturation and maybe bringing it down a little bit. So I'm going to click and drag there. Yeah, so that looks a little better. Um, another option you can do, I would say, is to spot fix it. So if this particular area is looking a little strange, what I would do is I would go to temp and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to warm it up. So let's increase this. Let's see how that's looking if we paint that on. Yeah, I think that helps a lot to even out the skin tone right there. So if we want to see what it looked like before, oops, develop, I'm going to go down to my history. It's kind of a cool thing to do. So we went from here and then after we did some of our sets, we sort of fixed, we went to fixing her lips to trying to fixing the orange and then we added our brush, our brush strokes and I think that is looking way better. So I th that's probably to the extent that I would edit this image using the Kodak preset. So if we go back down to our presets using the Kodak preset. Um, actually a few other things I would do. So within the presets they offer all these different tonal values so you can do it all hard which gives you more of a stronger contrast. All soft softens it up. Highlight hard increases your highlights. Highlight soft decreases your highlights. Shadow hard increases your shadows. Shadow soft. Um, actually, I think I may have that reverse. Shadows hard darkens your shadows. Shadow soft softens your shadows. So I actually might click that just to soften the shadows a little bit more. And then lens correction on is going to correct any um, lens distortion issues with your um, the particular lens you have. And then they also have this option for grain. So obviously film had certain grain values, but I'm going to just leave that off for now. And that's, um, that's it. I would take this into Photoshop then to get rid of this guy. So I can show you quickly how to do that. Wait for that to load. So first thing I'm going to do is hit Command J to create another layer. I'm going to use my clone tool. 
and I'm gonna have pull down option on a Mac. I'm not sure what it would be on a PC, sorry guys. Um, and just clone that guy out of there. And you can see a little bit of edging, so I'm gonna actually increase this just a little bit and do a little bit more cloning out. And you can see a little bit of something up there. There we go, and I'm just gonna sort of work on that area real quick. Oh, looks like we have this line. You guys can see that right here. That picked up an edge of the image, so I'm going to clone that back out. So when you spot from an area that's close to an edge, sometimes that happens. Okay, and then I would flatten the image, save it. Notice this says genus hack. I accidentally titled it wrong when I imported them, so just ignore that. And go back to Lightroom. So from our beginning photo, which is here, to our end photo here, that is using Mastin Labs Kodak Everyday Original Pack and the Kodak Gold preset. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.